Hello, my friends. So today for your seesaw activity, I just wanted to make a quick little video to explain what you're going to be doing. So yesterday we broke down numbers using our part, part, whole map, um, or we used our counters and you took pictures of how to show um, different ways to make a whole number. Okay. Today on your seesaw activity, you're going to see two pages, one that looks like this with these numbers and one that looks like this with these numbers. Okay. Now, if you look at these, this looks very, very similar to this. Okay. So kind of, if you think about it, you can flip it this way and that kind of makes more sense. But right here, what they've done is they have given you your whole number. Okay, so think about it like this. Think about four going here, and then your two circles, your part and your part, are these two. Okay, so your job is to show how to make four using two different parts, or how to make whatever whole number they give you using two different parts. Okay. Yesterday, we used our counters. So, for example, I can have two here for the first part and two here for the second part. I have a whole of one, two, three, four. Okay, yesterday we used our counters. Today, you are going to use um, different objects on your seesaw board. Um, what you can do is you can click the add objects button and you can add any object you want. You could do the heart, the star, any object you want to show the whole part. So for example, if you wanted to use the heart object, you could put two hearts here and two hearts here to show the total number is four. Okay, so you're going to do this for all of the numbers that are on your seesaw practice, and I cannot wait to see um, what you create with your part part holes. Have fun.